Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I made all of these little tabs that I'm using in this photo box uh, to help store and organize my stickers because if you guys have ever seen my desk, you know that it is out of control. So if you want to see how I made these little dividers, then just keep watching. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to show you up close what I'm going to be using. The first thing is this Tab Punch by We Are Memory Keepers. I bought this from Tuesday Morning, which is a like a discounted store here. I have seen them in different craft stores, and if I can find it online, I'll link it in the description bar down below. But it's from, again, We Are Memory Keepers, and it punches out these little tabs, they're so handy. I've had this thing in my drawer for so long, I cannot believe that I've just been sitting on it and I've had that. <laughs> so the next thing that you're gonna wanna use is some either cardstock, construction paper, whatever you wanna use. If you wanted to get really fancy, you could make your divider and you could laminate it and then trim it out that way. That way it's super durable. I personally did not choose to laminate them because I'm lazy, <laughs> honestly. After I had made all of these and then organized all of my stickers, which I'm still not done with, it was like two hours. I was like, mm, I'm done. <laughs> so I can always go back and laminate them after. So I think that might be something that I do. Another thing that you're gonna need is some sort of cutting board or you could use scissors if you want and a pencil and a ruler just to measure out. But these things are super, easy to use. Um, I measure it at seven and three eighths, so you'll want it to at least go to there, seven and three eighths. Um, and then the last thing I used was this planner glue pen. Any glue stick would work. Even if you wanted to use tape, you could do that. But this is from Prima, Prima Planners. I, I love these glue pens. I don't know what it is about them, but they are my favorite. So let's get started. So <clears throat> I am going to take, I do two pieces at a time because my blade is kind of, hmm, I maybe I could push it to three, but I really should just get a new blade. So I'm gonna do it long ways. If you're in school, it would be folding it like a hamburger. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you guys remember that in school? Hamburger and a hot dog. So anyways, you're gonna be cutting it across the longest piece. These are regular size, um, they're like eight and a half by 11 size pieces of paper. And so I'm just taking it to the seven and three eighths mark. And then you do a slice and you get this nice little trim piece. This is what I'm gonna use for the tabs. So I did that and then you're gonna wanna measure out five inches. Of course, if you're using a different photo box, you'll wanna cut it accordingly. These photo boxes I bought from, um, Michaels, they're like three for 10 bucks and then there's coupons all the time. So you definitely can score. So now that we have that, I'll put that out of the way. And then for the tab punch, I took off the plastic piece because one, I couldn't see what I was doing. And two, I wanted them to fly out so I could see what I was doing because I wanted to use as much paper as possible. So you just slide it in and then I just take it to the edge and you just punch it out and it's super easy. If you wanted to be really conservative, you could toggle the pieces so you could get more punches. But for the sake of this video, we'll just punch them straight across. Like that. And then we'll take our glue stick and I just hold it up in my hand. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Oops. <laughs> so I just hold it in my hand like that, put glue just on the bottom edge, and then I take my first piece and I just glue it on there like that. Oh my gosh. My dogs, they love to scare me. Soosh. Hold on, guys. Pixie is touching her butt. <laughs> Sorry if that scared you, you guys. The, they are just, Pixie's a real butthead to Soosh. And she just goes and paws at her, and then Soosh, she freaks out. So anyways, second tab, we're going to go ahead and put down the glue. And then to line it up, what I did was I just took my second sheet of paper. Let me move these extras out of the way. 
So I took my second sheet of paper and I just put it right on top. And so that's why, that way I know where to place the second tab. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It can slide around. It Honestly, once it's in the box, as long as they're staggered, you're good to go. So now that we have that one, we'll just do four because I'm sure you guys get the gist. It's super easy. So I just did it in all different colors. There's no rhyme or reason to the order of my colors. At first I was like, well, I want to categorize things by color. So like all home stuff would be pink, all whatever. And that just didn't work out. I think I'll organize them later, but as I was sorting through the stickers, I was just making categories as I needed them. Which is the nice part about this because you can make as many tabs as you need and that way it can be as organized as you want it to be. And so now, we have all of the tabs. You won't see this when it's in the box, honestly, and if you wanted to, you could just turn it around and you wouldn't even tell. To write on on the tabs, I just used a Sharpie. Um, but one cool thing I wanted to show you, somebody linked a video to me last night, and so we'll just use this cloud one for now. What if you wanted to get really creative, you could take some washi tape, You could put two layers if you wanted. I don't know, I don't remember if they were using like a fatter washi tape or what, but basically all they did was put it there and then, let's get as much in there as we can. I think that's a cute placement, like that. And so now the tab has these cute little clouds on it and if you were to glue that part there, you wouldn't even see that other pink. How cute is that? I Thank you <laughs> to whoever's tagged me in that. I can't remember the name, but I think that is super cool. I'm going to be doing that for my TN because I really wanted to put tabs in my traveler's notebook and now I can. So that is it. Um, once you have these down, I just put them in my my photo box and you get to filing. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.